So as I previously mentioned, the big thing about Hellgate, as with Diablo, is loot. As you go through the game, you find yourself collecting a lot of sort of pieces of loot which you can sell, trade to others. Um, and really this is going to be a big faction in our online component. Um, as you know, you can buy Hellgate out of the box and it will have a free online secure experience. Very similar terms we did with Diablo 2 for the <coughs> Battle Net. Um, there will be support for guilds. There will be a lot of different stuff. But we're also going to offer players who want a little bit more of a subscription service where you'll be able to get added content. We're looking at doing sort of big major events adding them in probably every three months or so. There'll be things like um, added guild support in terms of player housing, um, you know, there are a lot of different community, community features we're going to be adding in there. So what I'll quickly do now is um, I'll restart, do a different mission and uh, show you how the Templar plays. Excellent, so let me tell you also a little bit of background and history behind the game. Um, as I mentioned, one of the reasons we just decided to use London was because really, you know, the city has such a, a history of turmoil from when the Vikings invaded, um, right through to the Great Fire of London in 1665, and this really fits in with our backstory. Um, basically, in our backstory we have the, the Templar Knights have been around for centuries and centuries protecting humanity from demons, um, it turns out that things like the Knights, the Knights Crusade was actually against demons. The reason for the fire of London behind that was actually because they were destroying the demons. And um, the reason why we have the London Underground as our safe haven is because the Underground is actually built by Freemasons. And uh, Freemasons being parts of the Knights Templar, they actually built the Underground and mixed in with the concrete actually sort of magical powder. So what we have in terms of the Underground itself is you know, pretty much the perfect place for to have a dungeon crawler. <coughs> okay, so I'll be using a Blade Master next, who's in the, uh, the Templar faction. As I mentioned, these guys are great, they do um, a lot of double-handed combat. Really good if you're the kind of person who loves melee combat, third-person stuff. I like to really get into the thick of it. So in terms of, are you guys interested to find out when this is going to possibly be out in Spain? But we're looking at terms of release date-wise, I can let you know it will be out in 2007. Um, 
And we are currently working with our partners, Electronic Arts, just to work out exactly the We should be making announcements, um, hopefully in the next week or two, certainly before a games convention in Leipzig. Okay, let me start again with uh, Blade Master. As I mentioned, these guys are great in third-person combat. Um, love their melee fighting. Okay, so the next mission, the next quest I'll show you is um, a little bit different from what you've seen before. Um, in this quest, you actually go into the brain of uh, a techsmith who's been taken over by a demon invasion. <laughs> 